to come and join us. And um, we also need to start speaking about the African issues, the African problem and uh, looking for African solutions. The, the indigenization concept that I developed for, a, for AIM, African Indigenous Movement, the whole intention was to gather the African people who are indigenous to the continent and find self-actualization find self-conversation, find self-determination, and find self-respect and uh, self-governance, so that when you are speaking of the indigenous people, they must benefit from the oil that is in the region, they must benefit from the cocoa that is in the region. It cannot be right that Nigeria produces so much cocoa, so much oil, and yet out of what they are producing, none of those produ products are being beneficiated in the country. They are all being shipped up as raw material. You find a big pipe running through the De Delta Estate in, uh, in, uh, in Nigeria. And that big pipe is written BP, which means British Petroleum. And then the raw crude oil is shipped into Britain where it is purified and it is beneficiated and it is uh, processed, then brought back to Nigeria. And when it comes back, it is five to six times more than the original price of which it is being, being extracted for. Now, these, these for me are the real critical issues. That you cannot be telling me that Zisco Steel is producing steel in Zimbabwe, but the cars that are coming back from China and Taiwan and Britain, the African people cannot afford to buy those same cars. But whereas the iron ore that is in those cars is actually the iron ore from the local countries. This, this challenge it messes up my brain to even think that you have the, 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 the uranium and, and the, the, the nuclear weapon manufacturing industries where the uranium is being dug from South Africa, Zimbabwe, and Congo. And yet you as Africans are not allowed to produce nuclear weapons. But America, Russia, and France, and Britain can produce these weapons. But you as local people, you can't do that. But you must produce the raw material. Now, the question is, when you look at all our value chain of the copper, for example, in Zambia, thank you for saying that, the entire technological space, from your phone to your computer, to your telephone, to your what phone, all the gadgets in the world, none of them can function without copper inside them. One of the greatest countries that is producing copper in the whole world is Zambia. But unfortunately, constantly we are shipping out all raw copper out of Zambia. Instead of us producing the motherboards for the computers, producing the motherboards for the cell phones, producing the motherboards for the IT companies, so that when we do the beneficiation of our raw material, the local people are able to have industry that is running around them. This is the challenge that we must be talking about around the issue of Nigeria. That Biafra is the, the older than Nigeria because Biafra was to indigenity. Nigeria speaks to colonialism. And as we speak right now, the Nigerian governments have become custodians of the British monarch to further manage indoctrinate and manage and abuse the Nigerian people. And I, I have gone to Nigeria. I've been to Ife. I've been to VI, Victoria Island. I've been to um, Abuja. I've been to Port Harcourt. I've been to Benin. I've, I've, I've traveled that country vast and wide. And you cannot tell me that with so much a great amount of resource that Nigeria hosts 